hello there welcome back to my channel Juella or if you're new here then welcome to my channel so as you can tell by the title this is a huge beauty empties I've got to show you I fully intended on showing you this over the winter however it just totally got sidelined guys so I've, what I've had to do is actually recycle half of this <laughs> otherwise this video is going to be like two hours long and nobody's got two hours to sit and listen to me waffling on it's probably going to be a long one though so anyway as you can see guys a huge bag full not of Jo Malone goodies even though the bag says that but a huge bag full of empties and I've actually got a few on the desk in front of us as well so what I'm going to do I'm going to edit this video in little chunks little sections because otherwise I'll just take forever dipping into the bag constantly getting things to show you so I'm going to pull like five ten things out show you them switch it off and then edit this as best I can as you all know my editing skills are not exactly fantastic but hopefully it'll look all right so anyway the next thing you're going to see is the first 10 products well I don't know about anyone else but I love watching a good beauty empties vlog it's always nice to see other people's opinions and to see what other people think of the products so let's just dive in the first two products I'm going to show you are by P. Louise. I got these on a TikTok deal. Oof, I think it was the back end of last year. Then again, my memory's rubbish. It could have been this year. Anyway, yeah, I got them as a set of three. A body exfoliator, a bubble bath and a body wash. I've only finished using the bubble bath and the body wash. And yeah, love the look of them. They smell nice. They're definitely really nice. But I wouldn't rush out to repurchase them purely because I just think there's other slightly more affordable products out there and other ones that I actually prefer the smell of irrespective of the price. So these weren't mega expensive. I think I got the three set for about £18, something like that. And they're a really good size. They look like a laundry, like a laundry detergent bottle, which some people might think is a bit strange. But yeah, the packaging's lovely. Smell wise, they did smell quite nice. Yeah, they do smell nice, but it wasn't the type of scent that lingers on your skin. I don't know about anyone else, but I like when I get out the bath or the shower to still smell what I've washed myself with. And I couldn't particularly smell these, but they were lovely when I was in the bath. So they are nice, kind of do recommend them. Um, definitely nice for a teenage girl is kind of what I would, you know, like aim them at age wise. But yeah, I'm pretty sure most people would think they're quite nice. So yeah, nice enough, but I probably wouldn't repurchase unless I could see them for an amazing deal. Otherwise, yeah, I've got loads of shampoo, loads of shower gels. I was going to say shampoo. I'm going to say shampoo because the next thing I'm going to show you is shampoo. So my good old favourite, good old trusty Pantene volume and body shampoo, volume and body conditioner. I had several of these guys, but like I say, in the last couple of months, I've just had to put things in the recycling bin as well. Otherwise, this bag would have been the size of two big black bags, never mind a little bag. So yeah, Pantene. Absolutely love the stuff, swear by it, um, and I'm a hairdresser. I mean, I could sit here telling you like major, majorly expensive things, but depending on your hair type and stuff, I would say a good all-rounder, Pantene absolutely i've said the same for years i've told the same to clients over the years as well when they've been saying what shampoo and conditioners should i use well obviously you've got if you've got colored hair and they've got certain sort of colors in your hair i would recommend going for something sometimes like that ola is it olaplex um apparently that's really good for colored hair <laughs> um but yeah kerastase is obviously quite good as well but other than that pantene i honestly wouldn't go past Pantene. Super affordable as well and smells nice and just yeah makes your hair nice, keeps your hair nice and clean and I like the productivity of the stuff. How are you Julie? Every shampoo keeps your hair nice and clean but some make your hair feel a little bit nicer than others. I personally favour Pantene. Always have and probably always will. So next product expensive we've got elemis this is the skin nourishing shower cream and the size is 300 mils just literally finished this off last night in the bath um it's gorgeous it smells like baby powder if you like the smell of baby powder which i do oh, it smells lovely just a really nice girly musky powdery smell so yeah really nice um 
the price of it is not so nice i think it's about 28 pounds but i got this one off my friend Haley when she was selling some stuff in bundles and this was in the bundle so yeah really grateful to have tried it as well because i wouldn't pay 28 pounds after trying it as well still would not pay 28 pounds nice but not 28 pound nice do you know what i mean anyway next we've got another body wash a little bit more affordable we've got soap and glory this is the sugar crush fresh and foamy body wash absolutely love 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 it in the soap and glory range the su the sugar crush i was gonna say sugar crush getting all getting all tongue tied it's because i haven't done videos in a while <laughs> but in the soap and glory range this is my favorite oh it's gorgeous it's like sweet limes and i love the smell of limes and i love the smell of sweet limes <laughs> so yeah absolutely love this stuff really hard to get a hold of though you can get a lot of the bog standard soap and glory stuff but the sugar crush it might have even rebranded or renamed itself i'm not too sure i'll have to look into that because i was on the boots website a couple of weeks ago and i couldn't actually find that so yeah be interesting to know let me know pop, pop, pop it in the comments if you know if the sugar crush range in soap and glory is still available then please let me know so yeah i would definitely repurchase that though because it's so so nice it's just really fresh and really zingy as well staying on the theme of shower gels another favorite of mine but i don't like the price tag actually there's a little bit left in there just thought i could probably use that to wash my hands anyway totally thinking out loud we've got beauty paper year golden superfood antioxidant shower gel this smells divine but apparently it's 25 quid definitely wouldn't pay 25 pounds i've had it in a couple of beauty boxes now and i've bought it in the sale like on beauty websites for three or four pounds something like that oh it's just got a really nice sweet smell i can't describe the smell it's just lovely if you've smelled it before you'll know what i mean however let's look at the label guys it is a typical white label product so for all simple packaging doesn't always mean cheap i mean look at the price of joe malone and they've got very simple packaging this is pretty much a white label brand i've never heard of it but it's really nice stuff guys but not 25 pound nice no matter what way you cut the cake that is not 25 pound nice it smells a little bit like cake actually like a nice sweet almond cake anyway so yeah really love this stuff i definitely welcome it if someone gave us it as a gift um hint hint if my husband's watching but please don't pay 25 pound um but yeah um really nice stuff really like it but wouldn't pay 25 pounds like that's ridiculous so back on to hair my trusty hair color a few people have asked what like i color my hair with or do i color my hair yes i do guys otherwise i would be pretty much gray rooted 50 percent. i would say i'm not fully gray but i would say maybe 40 or 50 percent anyway maybe less than that actually i think i'm selling myself short it might be about 25 percent but i definitely get silver highlights like silver flicks anyway this hair color i've used for years it's the garnier nutrice number five in mocha brown davina mccall's always on the front of the box of the one that i get so yeah just a brown hair color it's my natural color but you know what you're going to be shocked i'm going to do a video of a little boots and super drug haul that i've got i think it was boots and super drug or boots and savers anyway you're going to be shocked at what i've bought guys obviously haven't done it yet but you're going to get you're going to get a little shock so yeah just something to keep your eye out for so yeah love this hair color the price you can't go wrong it's under a tenner some places you can get it for five pounds something if you get it on a deal too for like ten pound or whatever and some places you'll pay about eight or nine pounds just depends where you buy it but yeah absolutely fine perfect does the job covers the greys for a little while until they start poking their way back through and i do recommend it i really do then by avon i've had this for donkeys and i literally found it in my cupboard the other day avon naturals cozy vanilla and sandalwood room spritz smells lovely i think i just used to spray it inside my wardrobe so that my clothes smelt nice hanging up <laughs> so yeah that's all i use that for i don't generally buy a lot of avon products if i'm honest with you but i love the far away perfume that is one of my favorites it's lush never goes out of style it's an absolute classic and it's super affordable i'm not a perfume snob for all i love me perfumes i am not a perfume snob anyway yeah so if i was to place another avon order would i get the room sprays yes i would if i needed them but truth be told i don't need any 
Um, I've got so many body sprays and perfumes that I don't use. I'm tending to use them as actual air fresheners, which I know seems crazy, but anyway. Next product, back to Soap and Glory. We've got two little body sprays. The original Soap and Glory and the Sugar Crush one. Obviously, my favourite is the Sugar Crush. I got these in little gift sets about a year ago, and I've just finished using them. One of them I used more so as a, body, as a, as a room spray, and one of them more so as a body spray. But they are really nice. Even the original Soap and Glory does actually smell nice. Then we've got Rituals. This is the Sleep Pillow Mist. Just a little small sort of travel deluxe size. I think it's about 10 or 15 mils. 20 mils actually, it's 20 not 10. Anyway, 20 mils, that's pretty tiny for 20 mils. Anyway, it's really nice stuff, the Rituals of Jing, I think this one is. Yep, it's the Rituals of Jing, I was just double checking because I haven't got my glasses. These are my sunglasses guys, because we have had quite a lot of nice weather lately, although today's actually quite overcast. Anyway, love the Rituals, the Sleep Pillow Mist is lovely as well, but for a sort of cheaper price, I prefer feathering down. Um, being honest, it, it costs less and it's just as nice. Next, we have got a micellar water by Nuxie. Got this one in Look Fantastic last year or this year. Absolutely love the stuff, so I've went and bought another one, which you'll see when I show you a haul. Um, really, really nice. This is the Very Rose Micellar Water. Three-in-one soothing micellar water. I think you can get one that's hydrating and one that's soothing. Um, this is the soothing one and I'm hoping that's the one I've bought because I loved it. It's actually got a tiny bit left in. I'm just going to have a little sniff. Oh, it smells lovely. It's a really subtle rose smell. It's not like a strong, overpowering old lady rose smell. It's just quite subtle but it's really nice and it feels lovely on the skin. Really soothing and really calming and gentle. So yeah, really, really like that. Then, I've just finished this last night. It's Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia Bright Cream body cream I was gonna say face cream there didn't want to put this on my face I'd probably come out in a rash <laughs> anyway yeah this is the body cream but it's just a little one it's like 25 mils it's my favorite Sol de Janeiro product most people rave about the bum bum cream but this one is my absolute favorite there's a tiny bit on the lid there put it on my hands make them smell nice oh it's gorgeous really really sweet like sugared plum um like sugared plum and candy floss and marshmallow. It's just a really nice smell. I'm sure, I just got it on my nose there. Anyway, if you can see a bit of something white on my nose, you know it's that. Anyway, I would definitely recommend this. And I do have a bigger tub in the drawer, which I can now start using because I've finished my little one. I've had several of these small ones. I really, really love them. I used to get them on the Feel Unique Pick and Mix selection um, on the beauty bag. Not on the free base, but on the beauty bag. And yeah, I stopped doing them a while ago. But it is really, really nice. Highly recommended if you like a nice, sweet smelling body lotion. So now for the next products. So now for the next lot, we have got Bloom and Blossom Off to Bed Indulgence Bath Oil. Got this in a beauty box. A lot of this stuff is from beauty boxes or beauty bundles and gift sets and stuff. The occasional thing I buy myself, but it's mostly beauty boxes. Anyway, yeah, the Bloom and Blossom Indulgence Bath Oil. Really, really nice. Definitely nice and relaxing. Would I rush out to buy it? Probably not, but I'm definitely thankful to get these things in beauty boxes to try. So yeah, it is quite a nice one, but I just wouldn't rush out to buy it. Then we've got more body washes. I've got loads of empty shower gel things to show you, but yeah, I'm forever. Like when I go in the shower... I use loads, I use absolutely loads of the stuff. Some people just put a tiny bit on like a little a little poofy loofah thing, but no, not me. I use like half a bottle sometimes. Honestly, I'm terrible. I wash myself like five times. Anyway, a little bit OCD, very possibly. So this is by Nereus, and I think I got these in the lemonade box last year. So we've got Madagascan Pink Pepper Body Wash and Madagascan Ylang Ylang Body Wash. So these smelled quite nice and I would say they're quite a unisex smell. They've definitely got a bit of an air of like a masculine scent. I wouldn't rush out to buy them. They are quite expensive and I believe they originated on Dragon's Den. So I believe. I know a couple of my friends who got gifted the shampoos to try but I've never tried the shampoo. But I've tried the shower gels. Not something I would rush out to buy. However, if I got them in a beauty box again I would definitely use them. Yeah, they do smell quite nice. Quite a kind of essential oils aromatherapy smell, but definitely slight like 
slight masculine scented so definitely unisex which i think is quite good these days so yeah they were definitely all right i just wouldn't rush out to repurchase then we've got another beauty PBA <laughs> golden superfood shower gel as you know i love this stuff this is the second bottle i've just chucked the other one on the floor so yeah really really like it guys but i've already spoke about it so i won't i won't just repeat myself like polly the parrot then we've got molten brown and this is the delicious rhubarb and rose shower gel really really like it guys i absolutely love molten brown shower gels i love their perfumes as well but they're bloody expensive i only own one um but yeah the shower gels are gorgeous but they're so expensive um definitely welcomed as a gift or in a beauty box oh that smells so so nice i don't usually go for fruity scents but the rhubarb and rose from molten brown i really really do like so yeah really really like that guys um i do recommend them as well because a little bit goes a long way with molten brown it's not like when you get sometimes a cheaper shower gel and you've got to use half a bottle to get a good lather you just need a little bit of this the size of like a 10 pence piece and then you'll get a really good lather all over your body for yeah just a little bit of product so it is worth it with the molten brown ones but definitely expensive it's only something i might treat myself to maybe once a year um for sort of christmas or birthday time i've got another two molten brown ones we have got heavenly ginger lily and neon amber we'll go with the neon amber one first i got this in the molten brown gift set from glossy box about a year ago um there was like a box all tailored to molten brown it was literally all molten brown stuff um yeah that was amongst it quite a masculine scent if i remember right yeah definitely had a little bit of a masculine scent but also quite musky so yeah quite a unisex smell but i wouldn't rush out to purchase it heavenly ginger lily is one of my favorites this is the only perfume that i own from molten brown and it's lovely oh, it's just so so nice it's like a very light floral fresh smell but it's just really girly and really really nice so that is my absolute favorite from molten brown then another shower gel we have got by grace cole this is wild fig and pink cedar um yeah it was all right i wouldn't rush out to buy it i had to use quite a bit to get a good lather but it was nice enough i'm just gonna have a little smell because it was a while ago that i used it but no it actually smells really nice um but price wise i'm not sure about the price of those but i wouldn't rush out to buy it but it's okay then we've got a boots body spray live and be woodland whisper body mist the wind sighed softly a moment of calm so it's like a common body spray i remember buying these on the boots website there was a couple of them and they were only like one pound fifty each if not less than that i remember thinking bargain i need to try it for that and if nothing else use it as a room spray it got used as a room spray and a body spray so yeah i do get through quite a lot of body sprays but they do last quite a while wouldn't rush out to buy it again but it was nice to try it especially for the price then we've got a mitchum roll-on deodorant my absolute favorite deodorant brand i like dove ones as well and sanex but sometimes i use my husband's l'oreal one because i think they're a little bit a little bit more robust for when you get a bit sweaty in the summer anyway so yeah this is the mitchum woman powder fresh i think it's called powder fresh yes it is i'm just gonna have a little oh there's a little bit of white stuff gone everywhere it smells lovely but it's all gone and i've just got stuff all over my desk just kind of like sweep it on the floor i'll get it with the hoover later anyway yeah highly recommend the mitchum roll-ons i also use the sprays as well just whatever i can get really i just chop and change but i don't mind a roll-on I know some people don't like roll-ons but i don't mind then by bubble tea we have got lavender tea body wash i think i got this in a beauty box pretty sure i did because i wouldn't go out my way to buy bubble tea um it's quite a sort of lower price bracket item that's the most polite way i can say it um yeah it's it's not amazing stuff to be honest with you it's all right but it's not amazing i think i just used that as a bubble bath you know it's a body wash but i think i just squirted the whole lot in my bath and used it as a bubble bath <laughs> um but it was all right if i had it in a beauty box i would keep it and use it as a bubble bath it was fine but as a body wash mm, it was a little bit watery not quite so good then by e cooking one of my favorite face masks we've got the Moist moisturizing mask the intensive moisture boost comes in a little black glass pot smells gorgeous it just smells like honey like honey blossom oh it smells so so nice completely empty though guys 
and it also makes your skin the most important thing not just about the smell it makes your skin feel lovely and soft it really is really hydrating and moisturizing doesn't leave your skin greasy either it's just like a clear sort of gel that you just rub all over your face sit in the bath for 20 minutes wash it off rinse it off and then do your skincare regime as normal i would say on a night time more so than a morning and um, but it was lovely really really lovely got a couple of goes out of that as well maybe five goes and the size i think is 15 mils although i'm getting the size of everything wrong today aren't i but I think it was 15 mils. So anyway, if I saw this again, I would repurchase it, definitely. It is really, really nice. But I'm hoping I'll get it in a beauty box again at some point, because that's how I originally got them. And I've had a few now. Then we've got a really reasonably priced body talc by Cuticura, and it's the body powder, mildly medicated. So us slightly voluptuous ladies out there like myself, yeah, I've got quite big bangers um, i've got quite big baps girl, girls so yeah the girls need a bit of attention underneath under underneath for the um boob sweat there's no other way to say it i get a bit of the the chub rub a bit of the boob sweat and um, so yeah it's it's a good thing to put under your baps when you get out the bath or shower on a morning and night or just whatever or both so yeah i swear by the stuff i use any talc to be honest i'm using johnson's baby talc at the minute but this stuff is really quite nice and it's also good on your feet and like your inner thighs where you would get the chub rub things like that um so yeah um nice enough and it was about one or two pounds from savers it's been out of stock quite a lot though so it's been around for years it's like a kind of metal tin i remember getting this or seeing this not getting it i remember seeing it years ago when i was a teenager looking around savers for impulse body sprays i always remember seeing this talc so it's definitely been around a long time considering i'm now in my 40s so anyway definitely good stuff that they're still doing it so it says a lot about something if you can still get it 20 odd years on 25 years on anyway next product la cura spa foaming shower gel this is the rice milk and cherry blossom we we'll all know what this is a dupe for it's a dupe for rituals of secura i got this in a gift set from my friend cat and i've used a lot of the stuff out that gift set but i don't know if the rest of them's made it into this bag but this one has so yeah nice enough definitely and it's probably half the price of the rituals I would repurchase them if I shopped in Aldi, but I think it's Aldi. Yes, it is Aldi, um, but I don't really um, shop in Aldi because I'm pretty much housebound. I get all my things online, but it was nice. It was really, really nice. It smelled just like the Rituals of Secura, a really, really good dupe. Then we've got Monia Skin Micellar Water. This was okay. Um, I have had another one since, I think in, I want to say the OK Beauty Box, and I think that's originally where I got this one. Um, Monia Skin, hit and miss brand for me. Some things I like, some things I'm not so keen on. But yeah, the micellar water is okay, but I do prefer the Nuxi Very Rose one. And price wise, I think this is about 20 something pounds. Would not pay that price, but I would pay maybe four or five pounds, but I wouldn't pay any more than that. I'm probably just a little bit tight though, let's face it. And for the next lot. So, first of all, we have got a very bloody expensive perfume. My husband bought me this a couple of years ago because my cousin had it and I remember smelling it and thinking, ooh, that's really nice. Then I looked at the price of it and got a bit of a shock, nearly had a heart attack. You're looking at Chanel prices for Tom Ford. So, yeah, this is Tom Ford Velvet Orchid and it's the big bottle, the 100ml perfume and it is absolutely divine. It's so nice. I haven't smelled another perfume like it. I'm just going to see if I can get a cheeky squirt out of it. Probably not because I've pretty much used it to death yeah it's completely empty guys thought and hoped i was going to get a tiny bit no i didn't anyway really bloody expensive this is 140 pounds at the moment for the large size bottle you can get smaller sizes cheaper but the value for money is just not as good so obviously you get better value for money when you buy the bigger bottles it's always the same isn't it anyway yeah i would definitely repurchase it this is probably going to go on my christmas list but i won't buy it for myself because i can't justify spending 140 pound on just like another bottle of perfume i know i could get the smaller one but I, I can't justify paying like a lot of money for a lot smaller bottle when you can get the bigger bottle for a better price does that make sense probably not but anyway bloody love the stuff really really nice and i do highly recommend it if you want to splurge and treat yourself to something quite 
oriental little bit woody musky little bit sweet it's just it's very different but very very nice something a little bit more affordable but depends where you buy it calvin klein euphoria women really really nice the bottle's incredibly dusty but that's okay can i get a cheeky little squirt oh yes i can get a tiny little bit out that is a smell that for me will never go out of style it's really nice not another perfume quite like it really like the smell wouldn't rush out to buy it again i think my husband got us this a couple of christmases ago and i eventually finished it but it's very dusty it's been in that bag for ages so yeah really nice calvin klein euphoria um some of the calvin klein perfumes i'm hit and miss with but that one's really really nice another perfume seeing as you know i love my perfume we've got sarah jessica parker lovely you this one came in the grazia advent calendar not this christmas but the christmas before it's beautiful the bottle is really stunning as well with like the glitteriness on as well so it's really girly the smell is absolutely gorgeous see if i can get a cheeky squirt out no it's all gone but it's so nice that i did repurchase this so i do have the bigger bottle i think i bought it on ebay or amazon last year but yeah it's really really nice definitely if you like the sarah jessica parker plain lovely then i'm sh pretty sure you'll like the lovely you a lot of the lovely range perfumes all of them smell so so nice very powdery i would say musky and powdery but absolutely gorgeous so yeah definitely would recommend that one then i've got versace woman i don't know what happened to the lid on it i've had that for years i eventually finished using that i got it on a really good deal i think i paid about 15 pounds for it and it's a 50 ml bottle eau de parfum but i've noticed now it's about 45 pounds so it's definitely jumped up in price <laughs> smell wise it smells lovely guys um i wouldn't rush out to buy it again but it's it's nice enough um it was nice for a, a change we've got a couple of sheet masks by face facts we have got the hydrating sheet mask and the soothing nighttime mask they were nice enough really good prices as well you're looking at like two pounds per sheet mask so yeah i would definitely recommend those um just for a little bit of r and r doesn't matter what age you are I just think if you've got a little bit more of a shoestring budget they are definitely nice enough but you can still probably get cheaper ones but they are nice and i would repurchase then we've got the little sample of benefit the professional primer it was okay i've used it a few times now well this one little sachet only lasted as one go but i've had it a couple of times little free samples it's nice enough but i wouldn't rush out to buy it but it is nice enough um not much more I can say about that so we've got some more perfume samples we have got the victor and rolf good fortune smells bloody gorgeous i'm really trying to resist temptation to buy myself a bottle of this because it's so so nice smells a lot like a cross between olympia by paco rabanne and paco rabanne excess for her it's definitely a cross between those it's so so lush it's really really nice then we've got ysl black opium loved it but i don't love the price of it so my lovely friend angela said that eden perfumes do a good dupe of it so i bought the dupe and it does smell very much like it not identical but very very much definitely enough to to justify buying that instead of this so yeah really really nice i would definitely welcome another sample of that though but the eden dupe is really really nice then we've got a sample of Narciso Rodriguez Rouge. I went through a stage of really loving these perfumes, um, especially this red one. I've had a lot of them. I've got the Musk. I've had the pale pink one. I don't think I've tried the amber one. But anyways, I used to get quite a lot of these on the pick and mix range on the samples because I really fell in love with the Rouge one. But I was slowly going off it. I tried one the other day. I think it was literally this one because I've got through a few of them and i just wasn't feeling it wasn't feeling it at all so going off that one a little bit if i'm honest with you but maybe it was just a dodgy spray a dodgy bottle who knows glad it was only a sample though because they're bloody expensive back to some pillow sprays we have got the feather and down pillow spray my all-time favorite highly recommend it and it's about three pound fifty for a little bottle so yeah won't break the bank smells nice and just kind of aids restful sleep but also makes your hair smell nice and your pillow smell nice then we've got some shampoo by leaf and seed the wild science range the head first scalp relief cbd shampoo as a rule i can't really use cbd products if you're ingesting them 
or on my skin as such but i was all right with the with this with the shampoo i didn't have the conditioner to go with it but it smells gorgeous it smells really really nice it definitely made my scalp feel really super clean so yeah massive price tag though i think this one little bottle was worth over five pounds wow i'll stick with me pan 10 thanks very much it was nice but not that nice then we've got a ted baker body spray this is the raspberry and orange blossom really really nice um a little bit on the fruity side for me i got quite a few of these last year and i think i gave them like i made my friends some beauty bundles and i put this body spray i think it was in a couple of my friends like kind of little beauty bundles for christmas and yeah um it's nice enough it's nice for a little change if nothing else air freshener for your bedroom ladies or your bathroom then we have got a lip balm by i think this was makeup revolution this was the tinted berry one as you can see it's all completely gone it was like a pinky color smelt really nice smelt like coconut oil i think i've just got it on my nose smelt like coconut oil was really moisturizing and had a lovely tint to it as well nice pinky tint and this was the berry one and i've still got the peach one i think but yeah they came in a gift set from my lovely friend Haley about two years ago <laughs> um, and i eventually got through using some of them really really nice and if i saw them online i would repurchase them they were really moisturizing and really really pretty Grace and Stella Rose Spray for the Faced Facial Mist. Got it in a beauty box. Was alright, but I would not rush out to repurchase. But it was, you know, it was alright. We've got the Espa Refine and Skin Polish, which is like a, a face exfoliator. It's okay. I've got several of them though. <laughs> um, we tend to get quite a lot of these things in beauty boxes, and that's one that I always get a duplicate of. It's alright, it's not too harsh on the skin. Um, yeah, it's just alright. But I would not rush out to buy it. Then we've got a Foamy. I'd never tried one of these before until I got it in a beauty box. And that's where this is from. So this is the Papaya and Oat Milk Foamy. And it comes like on a rope. It's like a soap on a rope. We all know the jokes about that. So it's like a little body bar soap on a rope. It was alright. I'm not really into actual like solid soaps other than to wash my hands. And this mainly got used for washing my hands. I did have it in the shower for a while. Then I just wasn't using it. <laughs> So I did end up putting it next to the sink, used it to wash my hands with and then after a while I just popped it in the bin because it was starting to like go a bit funny. But yeah, it was alright but I wouldn't repurchase it guys. Um, but better for the environment to use these things as opposed to other things sometimes. Then my all time favourite mascara and it's discontinued. How bloody typical is that? In the past there's been so many perfumes that I have absolutely loved completely discontinued can't get them for love nor money they're like gold dust as is this mascara now so this is the bite mascara i want to say it's made in the usa but i could be completely wrong so i'm not going to say that anyway it's got a really nice bushy wand i don't know if you can see there this one is pretty much empty it's been open a while so yeah that's why it's in there but i'm actually using another one as you can see it's my favorite one it really is it gives that nice kind of fullness to your lashes it lengthens them but also thickens them and it does come off as well it doesn't stick to them like glue like some do um, but I, I can't rave enough about this absolutely love it don't want to rave too much though in case everyone goes on ebay looking for it because i need to go and buy another one now <laughs> well at the end of this video <laughs> so yeah absolutely love that mascara i give it like a 20 out of 10 not just a 10 out of 10 but i give it a massive thumbs up um i do highly recommend it then i've got a brow gel i've got two brow gels here where all the writing's kind of like rubbed off over time i've got the cryolan cryolan one which is really nice the wind you know you could be out there in a nine four scale and your eyebrows won't move if you've got this stuff on simply like super glue on your eyebrows um beauty box again never heard of it before but it's for a beauty box then out of the lemonade blocks we've got the quick and brow which is like the laminating gel stuff so you get your little spoolie and your little brush and you separate there and this stuff it was like a white color oh, just took the end off there wasn't intending on that happening this is like a white color which is a bit strange but it didn't make your eyebrows white kind of did it first but then it just goes translucent uh, but yeah really quite like that stuff as well but I think it's quite expensive. So yeah, haven't repurchased it. And I've got plenty of brow gels to be getting through. So I don't need any more. But I do recommend that one. So 
So now for the final chapter. So now for the final few products. I did have a lot more than this so guys and I can't believe how long this video is probably is but it is what it is. If you like the sound of my voice and it gets you to sleep, whack it on when you go to bed. Anyway, so a sheet mask by Holaga Holaga. It's the cucumber one. I highly recommend this. I think it's about £2 per sheet mask and it's really, really nice. Really super affordable, nice and hydrating and cooling and refreshing, especially for the summer months. So yeah, I'm hoping I've got one or two of these left actually because it's my favourite one. So yeah, really nice and I highly recommend it. Then we have got a lemon sheet mask. I think it's a Korean brand, but obviously I can't read it. It's all in Korean pretty much. But yeah, it was all right. It was nothing special, but it was definitely all right. I love a good sheet mask. I just think they're nice for just freshening yourself up and for a bit of R&R. &R. Perfume sample, we have got Prada Paradox really really nice we really sweet really girly and i do recommend it but i don't recommend the price like oh my goodness it's so expensive then we've got a couple of hand creams we have got crabtree and evelyn rose water and pink peppercorn hydrating hand lotion really like this stuff guys i'm gonna see if there's a tiny bit left yes there is there's a tiny bit left um it was really lovely i think i got it in a beauty box over a year ago might have even been more than a year Oh, it smells gorgeous. This is literally my mum's favourite one. She always buys quite a big tub of it. So, yeah, I must say it's really, really nice. It kind of sinks into your hands nice. It absorbs nice. It smells really girly and really floral and fresh. It's just it's a lovely hand cream. Crabtree and Evelyn is a nice brand. Um, but, yeah, hit and miss still with some of the things. But that is a lovely one. Then we've got a Molten Brown hand cream. We have got... I think it's the heavenly ginger lily one I'm trying to read it on there the writing's so small uh whoops i'm just gonna see have i just dropped the lid no i haven't it's on my knee i'm just gonna see if there's a teeny bit left yes there's a tiny bit left guys what am i doing leaving little tiny bits in eek anyway so of course i've got a mixture of hand creams on now still smells lovely but yeah that's that's pretty much all gone um it was all gone actually so i don't know where that little dreg bit come from came from but anyways so yeah really nice and it's actually a, quite affordable it's not like ridiculous priced but it's not like the cheapest thing either i think it's about 10 or 15 pounds it's not too bad then a really nice face cream by Lancome I got this on an amazing deal about a year or two ago on look fantastic I think it was a mistake the deal that they had these on but it's only a little t a little tub it's the Lancome Hydra Zen it's like a cream gel completely empty it's like a pale pink cream it's absolutely gorgeous I highly recommend it if you like the Clinique Moisture Surge, then you'll like the Lancome Hydra Zen range. It's really, really nice. Really hydrating, really refreshing, and quite light as well. If you don't like something really heavy, claggy, or oily, because I personally don't, um, yeah, really nice daytime cream. Absolutely love it. And if I can find one online at a reasonable price, I will definitely repurchase. Then, by the Rituals, some Rituals products, we have got the Rituals of Mer body lotion i think it is loving body cream yeah really nice absolutely love the rituals this isn't my favorite scent by them but it's actually really really nice i still love it there's not one scent by the rituals that i don't love can i even get a tiny bit out i bet yeah i can have you know got a tiny bit out it smells really zingy and fresh you could almost say that's a slight unisex smell i think it's sweet orange and cedar wood i'm just gonna double check Sweet orange and cedar wood, yeah, I'm right. So yeah, really, really nice. Definitely refreshing and zingy. Um, and then we've also got the body and hair mist. Hair and body mist by Rituals of Myrrh. Really, really nice. I've used it all at some point. <laughs> Probably more so on my body than my hair because I don't like things clagging my hair up. Then by Ameliorate, really quite like this brand as well. It's got a smell all of its own, a bit like a baby powder smell, which if you hadn't guessed, I like that kind of scent. This is the Smoothing Body Exfoliant. So yeah, it was quite nice. Um, I would repurchase it, but it's quite expensive. So I would get it when it's on like a 50% off maybe. Um, but it was nice enough as, as far as body scrubs go. Smells nice, did a good job. Definitely took the, 
the lumps and bumps away and that's particularly what they're designed for the ameliorate brand is for if you've got lumpy bumpy skin which has got a name and i keep forgetting it, it starts with a k but anyway i'm sure someone will whack it in the comments of what i mean but it's like if you get lumpy bumpy skin um or if you get quite if you've got quite sensitive irritated skin then the ameliorate brand is really good for you then we've got a couple of candles by the rituals just some little tea light candles we have got jade vine which i think was all right we've got sweet jasmine which was quite nice and oris mimosa which was nice so yeah i had them on they're all burned completely down don't know if i showed you there they're all burned completely down because sometimes candles don't go all the way down and they leave like a big well like a dip and then you, you don't get the use of the whole candle and the melt but yeah they burnt down really evenly got them in a rituals advent calendar about two years ago <laughs> i eventually got around to using them over christmas and they've been in this bag since then i know absolutely crazy then my all-time favorite wax melt this is by yankee candle i kept the little packet so i could show you oh my god they smell dreamy these are discontinued this particular scent which is Moroccan argan oil and it's like a burgundy colour. It smells bloody gorgeous, girls. If you can get your hands on these, it's like gold dust to get them. But they are so nice. And I've recently bought some on eBay, actually. And I got them at an all right price, considering. Once you put them in your little tea light burner thing, you put the whole melt in, it'll last you a good couple of weeks. I'd put a candle on every day for a couple of weeks until the smell gets less and less and then you know it's had it. But they definitely last really, really well. But you have to stuck up on your little tea lights as well because they use quite a lot. But yeah, oh, it's just such a nice, musky, powdery smell. Really, really musky, really powdery. A little bit sweet and a little bit floral. But that is just a stunning smell. If there was a perfume in that scent, hands down, I would wear that perfume every single day. Because I bloody love it. Some more wax melts by one of my favourites, Hazy Days. We've got Lenora Deep Sea and Lenora Rose Wonderland, which are part of their like fabric softener range scents. Really, really nice. Absolutely love them. My favourite ones, Sandalwood and Honeysuckle. But yeah, they are really nice. Lenora Deep Sea is really fresh. Rose Wonderland is really, really floral, um, but definitely nice for a change. And yeah, the final product. We have got some Nag Champa incense sticks. I like them on now and again, but my husband is absolutely, yeah, determined that they smell like a, a Chinese Nuki factory when I've got them on in the house. But yeah, my question to that is always, how do you know what a Chinese Nuki factory smells like, Mr. Jago? Anyway, so yeah, Nag Champa incense sticks, Josh sticks as we call them absolutely lush really nice some people say they just smell smoky but i can definitely smell a musky smell oh they're just so so nice i do like a nice incense stick on and they are my go-to incense stick so if you've made it all the way to the end of this video congratulations um yeah i am desperate for a drink of water because my throat is as dry as a bone I didn't bring a drink of water upstairs with us either. What an absolute wally I am. So yeah, I love a good beauty empties. As you can see, I've got through quite a lot of products. Um, there was a lot more than that, but I had to put some in the bin. I really had to be a bit cutthroat and not show you absolutely everything because this video is already a long one. Um, so yeah, if you made it all the way, thank you so much for watching. If you just watch little bits of the video, then I totally understand because who's got time to sit and listen to someone waffle on about beauty products in an empties video for like, I'm going to guess a good 45 minutes here, but I could be wrong. Could be more than that. Anyway, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stick with my channel because I've got lots more videos to come over the next week or so, I would say. And other than that, I hope everyone's had a fantastic weekend and I shall see you all soon. Bye bye.